this video, we're going to have a look at scanning the aorta and the vena cava. Now, these, uh, scanning these structures is very useful for probe control. Uh, following them from their cranial to caudal extent helps you to practice the minute control of the probe that will enable you to find other organs later on. But also, scanning them in their own right can uh, highlight certain pathological processes. They also serve as superb landmarks for some of the other organs that we'll look at a little bit later on. To start scanning these, what we're going to do is begin by placing our probe just caudal to the costal arch in a longitudinal plane. And we're going to stand the probe as nearly upright as we can so that we're scanning from above directly down towards the tabletop. And we're going to locate the left kidney. If you don't have to do that or you're not sure how to do that, feel free to take a peek at our earlier video covering scanning of the kidney just to remind yourself of the technique. Once we've uh, got the kidney on the image, on the screen, all we're going to do is make a small fanning movement. So we're going to fan dorsally off the dorsal border of the kidney. Once we come off the dorsal border of that organ, stop, and then we're just going to fan back ventrally, so back the way we've come, until, so you can see on the screen there, we've got this large blood vessel going from top right to bottom left on the screen. That, you can see, if you just stop and watch, is pulsing. That's our aorta. And if I just rotate the angle of the probe slightly and make a minor fanning adjustment, you can just see another large vessel coming in below that on the screen. Now just remember we're scanning from the left hand side. The aorta lies to the left of the vena cava in the, uh, in the abdomen. And so uh, the top of the screen represents the left of the dog. So that, that upper vessel is the aorta and the lower vessel is going to be the vena cava. Uh, obviously the fact that it's pulsing is helping, although just be, beware that um, if you watch closely on the vena cave there, the, the, the pulsatile nature of the aorta is actually creating a sort of referred pulse within the vena cava. So it can be a little bit misleading. The other way you can tell those two vessels apart is if you just apply a little bit of transducer pressure, you can see that we can actually squash the lower vessel. So the lower pressure system of the vena cava, we're able to squash that vessel with our probe, whereas the higher pressure aorta, we're unable to do, that, to do so. So we've found our aorta and our vena cava, and what we're going to do then is once we've got them on the screen, just make minor adjustments to the rotation of our probe, and you can see how I can either foreshorten those vessels or get them to elongate out just by making rotational movements. So we're just going to ensure that we're doing a longitudinal section of, that, of those vessels, and then we're just going to slide our probe along the body wall to trace them all the way to their caudal extent. What you'll find is as you go, you might, um, you might just wander off course slightly and you lose the vessels from the screen. If you do that, stop, make minor fanning adjustments, and then keep going. And all we're going to do is slide all the way along until we get on the screen, as you can see here, the aortic bifurcation, strictly speaking, in fact, the trifurcation. And you can see on the top of the, uh, the top vessel there uh, a, a sort of Y-shaped bifurcation where the aorta splits into the two external iliac arteries. We can also use this as a great landmark for finding the medial iliac lymph nodes, but we'll come back to that in a minute. So we'll do that one more time. We're going to start just caudal to the costal arch, find the kidney, fan off the dorsal aspect of the kidney, fan back ventrally until we pick up the vessel there and then we're going to slide cordially and the key is keep watching the screen at all times. As we slide cordially, keep watching the screen, making minor adjustments as we go, keeping those vessels in the image until eventually we end up at the bifurcation.